Well, from hacks to turn your bathroom into a sanctuary to some health hacks with Be Well. Now, as we embrace the warmer, sunny days, there's a lot of talk about summer bodies. And I also feel like a lot of pressure. And South Africa does have a problem with obesity, but the best and only way to lose weight is to make the shift to a healthier lifestyle overall. That's why we have our resident health expert, Dr. Darren Green, and he has some fantastic health hacks that will help you on your journey to healthy weight loss. And I want to put emphasis on healthy weight loss. Dr. Yes. Darren Green, welcome back. Thank you. Morning. Good to have you here. Very good morning. We are talking healthy hacks for losing weight. What is your number one go-to health hack tip? First one is remember that we, we take often four to five years to change the shape of our temples. Mm -hmm. So uh, to reverse that often doesn't take a week or a month. It often takes months to get it back to where you'd like it to be. But uh, making a healthy lifestyle decision uh, involves more than just a, a measurement mm -hmm. or a weight. Are you fitting into clothes a certain way? It's about general health and wellness and how you feel and the energy to, to complete your tasks every day. And the first one is to drink enough water to maintain good health. We need water in our bodies for different metabolic processes to rid ourselves of toxins, obviously, as well, and obviously to, to flush the kidneys and to rehydrate the body. Uh, uses water as part of blood to carry the cells and forms a very important aspect of your immune system as well. I have to admit, that is the one thing I am struggling with at the moment is to take in all the, the amount of water I need to and yeah. I know I need to. Um, someone said to me a great way is, you know, buy yourself a fun or a new water bottle, just make it exciting. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and some people don't like the taste of plain water. They're mm. so used to having flavoured things. So put, put some fruit in it, uh, for example. Okay. Uh, cucumber, lemon, a slice of lemon even a cinnamon stick if you really like, but there's a lot you can do to, to make the taste of water actually quite appealing. Okay, well from staying away from the fizzy drinks and opting for some water with some lemon or cucumber in it. 100%, yeah. How important is breakfast? Well, the, the big thing is we all have coffee for breakfast and I mean, how many people out there all feel the same? And uh, the big issue is then you start craving a high energy saturated kind of uh, energy source yeah. later on in the day, and that high, high fat rich foods. So breakfast is important to maintain your blood sugar levels over time. Mm -hmm. And certain breakfasts, particularly things like oats, for example, can last quite a while. So that whole low GI thing, there's a lot of truth in it. The, the glycemic index is important in maintaining your insulin response to whatever you're ingesting, and then your hunger cravings mm -hmm. will also be less and spread out a little bit more evenly throughout the day. Oh, very interesting. Okay, I love that. Oats is a good go-to. Uh, other than oats, what else would you recommend? Yeah, so you could have a low GI, if you like your, your breads, you could mm -hmm. have a rye bread or a low GI bread, a soy and linseed bread, for example. A slice of toast with, uh, with some good fats on it, some, something like avocado. So smashed toast, uh, smashed avo on toast is a big one that people absolutely love. And then, of course, eggs. Okay. You know, if you don't have any specific dyslipidemias or, or uh, triglyceride problems, you can have quite a few boiled eggs a week, okay. uh, I think four to five. Nice. I know the boys here, whenever they do boxing or on a health trip, oh, they nice. overload on the eggs. Now, Dr. Darren Green, you have a third and final hack for us what, when it comes to lifestyle. Yeah. What is our health hack for I today? Think the general lifestyle tips uh, would definitely include things like exercise. But, I mean, we all know we must exercise. You need 30 minutes of exercise at least uh, three days a week. The World Health Organization advocates five days a week mm -hmm. where you need to increase your heart rate to about 80% of your maximum heart rate, which is essential. Uh, along with that, also make good decisions around how you prepare food. So now you're having all the healthy vegetables, uh, which you're including in your diet, and preparing them in an unhealthy way. So uh, when it comes specifically to be well, the canola oil is very good. It's the mm -hmm. lowest, uh, lowest uh, available oil, you know, lowest in saturated fats, very high in omega-3s, uh, quite beneficial and advantageous to your health. Uh, and then uh, obviously, of course, do something that's sustainable. Don't do something that you can only handle for like two or three weeks and okay. then just fall off the bandwagon. We all speak about this from experience. Yes, I know, definitely. <laughs> like, do something that works for you and a little bit is better than nothing. Dr. Darren Green, quickly, before I say goodbye, you spoke about heart rate. What's the best yes. way to work out your 100%? What's your 100% yes. heart rate? So, so you're, for men, it's 220 minus your age. So okay. if you're 40, it's 220 minus 40 is 180. And you should train until you get it up to about 80% of that, about of, of 158 or so. Okay. And ladies, 200 minus your age. Ah, okay. Well, ladies and gents, there you have it. That's how you work out your heart rate. And of course, we want to say a big thank you to Dr. Darren Green. He's not going anywhere. But thank you so much for these great Be Well health hacks to get you and I mean to work on those summer bodies the healthy and the right way.